drums. The dance to join us, we're looking fresh, we're looking clean. You ready for ultimate entertainment? Umboza, are you ready? Well, my friends, I'm going to tell you a little bit. It's only available from this wonderful show ever known as the Tom's Roger on Mzanti's number one channel, SABC One Mzanti for show. And since we're going to greatness, a check's greatness, and show the episode has been proudly brought to you by the SABC Education and Mzanti's Department of Science and Technology. And who are these cool two people on your screen? Well, as don't know. I'm telling you now, we are like the pilots to this journey that you are about to undertake. Ne, I'm just simply usia. Now, bongo show na mtanjo hambo leto lisap. I got a one, but I'm telling you, it will take us through the world of water and sanitation and the innovation that comes along with it. Lento balega ya cool ne. Sounds like something you guys at home really need to know about. So, ask our Christine guys, can't just get any right into it. Who are making an active effort to solve the world's sanitation problems. Check out some really cool innovations that could change the world of sanitation as we know it. Since human waste is natural, how can it be toxic? Open the to check out some awesome apps for your mobile device. just if flash one year toilet can use at least six liters of water. No, 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 but that is very scary when you consider the fact that humans only need between two and three liters a day. And some people don't even get to this amount mm. again. Now let's see what other interesting facts the guys out there might have for us on this matter. My name is Dineo. I go to work school the Berger. Um, my name is Ray Sang Jones and I go to work school the Berger. A toilet, bath, water, um, soap. A manzi, in tipo. It can be toxic because um, it can flow into the sea and destroy our planet as we know it. We can get really sick. Fana na masuri chiso, mawa round ala estrate na bantu ya kula mawa ba epresa in na bana lo ma gems na wito. Changing a maspray a maning ning la petrolet and have a whole place for the waste where it can also be. Um, turned into something more useful. Also, now when I see the guys at home, do you think that they fully grasp why sanitation is such a big deal? Yeah, my concern on Abong Yazutin and Hiko show. Got to get at the end of the show, I'll be certain that they do. What I would like to know, Gibet Nani, is why is it such a big deal for us to find proper ways to get rid of human waste? I mean, in natural, Jana. Yes, it's natural, but I know Gutini Gileno can know what can be the perfect breeding ground for toxic bacteria. In Jaloga, you see, why I get the toxic bacteria when it comes into contact with humans, it could make a person sick, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. So, Gibet Nani, what are some of these toxic bacteria that could breed in? Do you know? There's quite a few in Abongine. Here are some, and here's what they can do. Check this out. Ever heard of E. coli, which is a foodborne illness that can often lead to bloody diarrhea, stomach cramps, vomiting, and fever? Well, the bacteria responsible for all this can infect a human body that swims in or drinks sewage contaminated water. Now, apart from that, poor hygiene habits or conditions can find one contracting this bacteria. Now, check out this Giardia parasite. I promise you, you do not want to bump into this guy in a dark alley. This parasite, like E. coli, causes diarrhea. Now it is transmitted that have been contaminated with human or animal feces. It can also be transmitted from contaminated surfaces. Now this could be a toilet seat, a bucket that is used for excretion, or even used diapers. I think the problem is much bigger than I could have ever imagined. I know, right? But luckily, Bako Namatunga Pant, who are actively trying to find ways we must protect it from these bacteria. And I know exactly who you are talking about, Yunasiya. That would be the guys at the Water Research Foundation, the Department of Science and Technology, as well as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Ooh, Your first boy is still on a mission by Fetsa. Kuba and Mission Yet and I'm here and just killing a sanitation while touch down at Pitchwood or a tumble center. So I am an expert of Katsala Gabans about sanitation and also see some cool innovations. It's me and you in this mission. Let's go. My name is Stuart Woolley. I work at the Water Research Commission, mm -hmm. which is the primary water research node in Africa. Uh, we do a lot of research into uh, environmental water use, uh, agricultural water use, uh, wa uh, wastewater, uh, sanitation, you know, every aspect where water is involved, we administrate the research for that. 
sanitation. So tell us about the sanitation problems that we have in South Africa. Some of the sanitation problems that we're facing are quite diverse. You know, we have some backlog of delivery problems where people aren't getting the sanitation facilities they need. We have some slightly outdated sanitation interventions. So we need like new sanitation technologies to come through and new te ways of thinking about how to deliver sanitation. What are you guys doing to overcome all these problems? Well, we're funding research in quite a few areas when it comes to sanitation. We funded research in new technologies, new ways to flush, new superstructures, way to do it cheaper, way to get ways to get it out to the rural areas faster, and also some areas about what happens after you put the toilets in. You know, education programs, how to manage the fecal sludge that you get in toilets, and also some of the social franchising projects. That all goes through the WRC at one point or another. My name is Dulaikone. Yes. I work for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. What I do is I make investment yes. for companies or industries or good scientists mm -hmm. to develop solutions that would help the number of million, billion of people who don't have sanitation. So, sir, can you tell us ab about the relationships between the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and DST? So what we do here in South Africa is a lot of work on health. We do a lot of work with the government partners and many other uh, industry. We also work on sanitation. This is what the work that I'm leading myself. Yes. And, and on sanitation here, we have a very strong partnership with the Department of Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. And this is a partnership to help us bringing some of the innovation. We've been funding a lot of interesting technologies. Yes. And there is a great opportunity to adapt them in South Africa or yes. to work with inventors in South Africa to make sure that those technologies can solve the problem yes. of the people of South Africa. Mm -hmm and those technologies can be commercialized here in, in South Africa. My name is Henry Roman. I'm responsible for environmental services and technologies at the department. We also partnered with the Water Research Commission and with um, Ground Truth and Wesser. Now, Ground Truth and Wesser developed what they call Minisas. And what that is, is, is it's primarily aimed at school kids where they actually go out and they look at the different insects and things that you find in rivers. And these insects are indicators of the health of that river. Now that data gets uploaded onto a website and it's color coded. So if, it's, if you get a little red crab, that river is in terrible health. If it's, a, if it's a green crab, it's in really good health. You can do it on your phone because you've got all the tools on the phone by which you can do it. Okay. So what the DST also has is a partnership with MLab. Now MLab is an entrepreneurial platform for app development whereby young people can come in they don't have to have an app experience app development experience and they get trained how to develop apps and so we do two things we, we upskilling young people on one side and we're developing an app that is going to give scientists more data that they can look at and that's what you call citizen science in action so the citizens Persons like yourself, yes. who are not trained as scientists, can actually contribute to the scientific endeavor in the country. That was really intense, really informative, and honestly, really amazing. But for now, I'm and that's not going to be my new engine. It's food to food. I'm going to go to my new engine. See you after this. Sebona Gilbakuteni, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation wants to reinvent the toilet. All this and more, and then go to the Khabuji. What's the boy? On the fresh side tech show in the land of Mzanti, Labor CBs are CBs and the teenagers on a mission right here on SABC1 Mzanti for sure. See Patrick Alonga, but the long thing go away as the busy education, but I'm a net department of science and technology. I'm trying to get TOMZ has been all about water and sanitation, all in the purpose of staying fresh and clean. So that you want to get a band who are dedicating their lives to finding solutions to some of our sanitation issues. Mm, and these issues when Abognema, amongst other things, need to use as little water as possible and also a Dimutabe able to function in isolation. And all of that, Midnan, is because the areas that need these solutions the most do not have adequate supply to water. Mm -hmm. Why they don't have fully functional plumbing systems. But not to these innovative thinkers that we have coming up next. And yes, then Midnan, we live for innovation. So, Chonga, man. 
Okay, so tell me about the other projects that you've been involved in to overcome sanitation. Uh, one of the recent ones that we're most heavily involved in is the low flush sanitation. Okay. So those are toilets that they use, you know, a very small amount of water to flush compared to other toilets. Okay. And they can even be used, well, they can even use grey water to flush the toilet. So now you don't need access to fresh water just to flush the toilet. You can use old wash water to flush the toilet. So now people that have not necessarily had access to flushing toilets because they're in dry areas or they just can't afford fresh water to flush a toilet, they now have access to flushing toilets and all the convenience that comes with it. No more smelly pits. And it's, we've put a lot of research research into the cost so those are cheap they're affordable they're being rolled out and yeah the DST works in in many ways and one of the ways is we secure partnerships because you can't do innovative technology interventions without good partnerships so one of our partners is the Department of Basic Education in the Eastern Cape yes. because the sanitation rollout we or, or the sanitation innovations we're testing are being done in rural schools in the Eastern Cape, in Kofi Mbaba. You can't just take a technology and put it in a school and expect people to know how it works. Yes. It, this is not an, uh, a tablet or a phone. This is something somebody has to use responsibly and correctly in order for it to function in the way it is designed to function. So we do awareness programs that tie in with the deployment of the technology. So you, we will tell them about sanitation what, and, and simple things. Wash your hands after you use the toilet. Yes. Some of the technologies, and this is for instance, if you have the one we were testing is a poor flush technology. It's a, using two liters of water to flush away everything after you've used the toilet. Yes. But that takes some, some um, know-how and awareness because you can't use, for instance, new, new newspapers. You have to use toilet paper. Okay. When you're done, you have to take a jug of water and, you, and pour it to, into, the, in, into the toilet bowl so that it takes everything away. Mm -hmm. You can't just throw anything you please down that toilet because then it stops working the way it should. And then you, you in effect, have destroyed what you, well, what's there to benefit you. So if you don't do that, your technology fails. And it doesn't fail because the technology is wrong, it fails because you never took the time to teach people how to use it in the way it's designed to be used. And that's a very important aspect. Okay, so can you please tell us about the fruits that have come out from the relationships? Well, firstly, if you look at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation relationship, that's, we have now got access into, we have a global reach into new developments in, in sanitation through what the Bill and Melinda Gates Fund Foundation ran the Reinvent the Toilet Challenge. We have access to those 30 odd technologies that came out of that challenge. So we get to cherry pick the ones that we think are most appropriate to South Africa. And then we get to test them here in partnership with them. So that's one. In terms of the, with the de Department for Basic Education, the fruit of that is we have access into different schools in order to test and demonstrate these techno technologies with their blessing. You can't just walk in as, as one government department into another department's area or mandate. The main one from, for, from, from our side is also access into the WRC system of researchers and, and developers that sit in, inside their networks. So we have access into their networks. For instance, in, in, in putting these things on the ground to test them, you need research expertise. And the WRC allows us access into that research expertise based from the US all the way to India. People we wouldn't normally have access to, we now have direct access to. So today we're more like showcasing the product um, of Arum Lu, um, essentially designed from the Arum Lily, uh, which is we are using like a biomimicry um, design. Uh, what you find in a biomimic, uh, biomimicry design is that certain, there are certain so like products of nature that could actually eliminate on how we as humans uh, do our things. Eh? What you find in a, uh, in a, in a, in a Arum Lily is that when you cut it in half, um, on the inside it has like that vortex kind of shape. Um, and yet we've used that design into our, into our toilets. Um, because we are kind of like conserving water and water is more like a very essential thing um, in our days, uh, we've actually come up with this design to eliminate that, so that, form, of pro that, that form of problem. Uh, this is more like a micro flush toilet. Um, the first flush, which is going to be right over here, um, will actually like produce uh, a percentage of water, which is about 300 milliliters of water, um, creating that vortex kind of shape. As I said, the Arum Lily, 
um, has a vortex kind of shape so that water would come in and as time goes the the velocity of the water kind of like spins around wiping all the smears away um, and we have more like the second the second flush over here so what happens on the second flush is initially everything say for an example you have had like a heavy truck load um, right over here so um, the second flush will be able to actually make it actually pass through um, effectively now it's almost one third of the people who don't have a toilet mm -hmm. and sometimes for those even who have a toilet the toilets stink it's very bad it doesn't kill the disease and the waste is not properly managed and people get sick because excreta feces is not well treated mm -hmm. so the toilet technology that we are developing in partnership with DST and other partners are actually designed to remove the disease and it would make the toilet so cool that you would like to buy it as a mobile so if we can do that we say we will save a lot of life because lack of sanitation is actually killing every year 700,000 children. So it's a life-saving intervention, making sure that women, girls, kids can actually grow healthy. That's, that's one of the bigger outcomes that we, we can get from, from this project. Now they say don't try reinvent the wheel. We say why not? The same logic can be applied to our old age toilets. Now that's exactly what the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation said to do with their reinvent the toilet challenge. Now one of the winners of this challenge were the students from the California Institute of Technology who invented a solar powered toilet that generates hydrogen and electricity. Wow, talk about amazing innovations, right? Now those are the type of things with nine that we need to see more of actually. Mm. Local ties with Nila Bafetu out there need to start tuning your minds to think innovatively to find different solutions to many other problems and so I as a band. And go on, if you're already doing that, then we would love to learn more about Lord because Galo, after all, what's the use of an idea if it's not up and going to Like, so hit us up on Facebook, on Twitter, and even on Instagram, and let's encourage one another to stay fresh and clean. Inshallah, guys, for now, though, because I'm so sorry, man, guys, and we're here, though. I just have a famous way to we go back in time, which is for Negabans about the evolution of sanitation. Get some useful sanitation apps and also get some really cool advice from Inga Peppers and Zanam Shanch. Stay tuned, we are coming back right after this. Charms. Charms. And you're still tuning to the home of science and tech entertainment in Mzansi. The one and the only to MZ. Well, you can be like the SABC one. Mzansi for sure. You can be like the SABC one. You can be like the SABC one. You can be like the SABC education. Why are you about to be like the SABC one? I'm Department of Science and Technology. But you can be like Now, do I really need to tell you guys what I'm trying to say? I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to tell you guys. But just to jog your memory just a little bit. I'm trying to get. We are keeping it fresh and clean. I'm going to tell you guys about the sanitation. Why, but you we've seen some really cool products projects that were undertook by the Department of Science and Technology in collaboration Galobo, with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation that actually addressed issues around the sanitation. God, Muzo, Oti, when did this whole concept of sanitation you is a And okay, how has it advanced over the years? And most importantly, is Sasala will be a Now let's set this machine back to reverse my dance because one by Balab. Now the concept of sanitation has been around since forever. All the way back in the 2000 BCs, people would actually purify dirty water by boiling and filtering it. Ancient Romans knew that for the sake of sanitation, it is very much important to move human waste away from society, hence why they constructed their own adequates. Now, unfortunately, this still meant that humans came into contact with this human waste. It was only much later that the sewer system was invented and implemented to treat sewage. Now fast forward to the present and you will find that the current toilet system works perfectly for most but not for all. And that is why modern day geniuses are developing solar powered, self cleaning and rural friendly toilets. But I love how this show is able to show us that something as simple as a toilet is actually an amazing piece of technology. Mm, and the fact that it is a technology that can be constantly improved for the benefit of society. And yes, in you can start now simply because as a band with basic access to his restaurant the internet and the smartphones, we are armed with more knowledge than we can ever, ever imagine. If you have doubt about Thomas or Taibo, I am going to go to the internet, then check out what we just found for you on the net. And you can scroll down to Taibo with Cyberspace at the internet. I'm going to check it out. What if I told you it's an app that makes you a scientist? You think I'm crazy, right? Well, that's exactly what Imini SASS app does. Using the concept of citizen scientists, Abantu can be able to access the quality of water in their area and submit the results to a national database. 
Or maybe you can check out Ilungisa app that allows you to report faults like Amatoleta Pugile Gumas Palaweni to help you play an active role in saving water. Oh, by the way, did I mention, Nguti, both these apps are probably made in Mzansi, huh? And you want to know how you can actually help more people be as fresh and clean as our fresh boy Caddy. Mm, but you're just not sure how to go about doing it. <laughs> what subjects must you do at school? Any? How much must you get in those subjects? Why you find out even about Kabila High School? Well, if you think a career as a plumber would be the one for you, then you have to team this up very closely. Now, a plumber is responsible for installing and maintaining systems used for drinking water, sewage, drainage, and industrial process plant piping. Now, in modern day society, plumbers are a necessity. To be one, you need to be very good with your hands, you need to be diligent, and you need to be very accurate. You need to get your national certificate in either plumbing or engineering studies. Also, Kinseki Zagabetran, my institution, Leogalogwit, is registered with the Department of Higher Education. I got a fetch of Kopesha Sebekunmile. So take the advice, go out there and achieve your dreams, just like today's guests have done. Let's go get some words of advice, Kibetu Nani, just to give you more inspiration to go out there and do what you need to do. If you're interested in helping with water and sanitation, you can. It doesn't matter how old you are, where you're from, or what your background is. Even a small child can help just by being aware that saving water really helps South Africa and it helps the people of South Africa. And if you want to help even more and get a career in water and sanitation, they're all available. All you have to do is just open your mind, read the books that are out there on water and sanitation, read the water wheel and the uh, water and sanitation magazine, magazines that are there to help you become more aware. And then innovative people like you could start to see the potential for where you can apply yourself and make a, make a career for yourself. social sessions on Facebook and on Twitter. I love your show very much. And I learn new things every time. Keep up the good work. Well, we are TMZ after all. Always me, Lucas Petro, and Nati, and again, Hey, I love your show very much, guys. Thank you so much for watching TMZ every Mondays and Tuesdays. Watch here when I say BC1 at 4 p.m. Now, we're going to find another Benzer Jan. Facebook, hello, guys. Lula, guys. Facebook, TMZ, Twitter, and TMZ underscore SABC. And let's go on Instagram. See, Papa, Dean, Tom's TV, and let's go on SABC. And get each one at 90. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. And get a fair to just like that, we have reached the end of today's dosage of Ultimate Entertainment. Please let us know on Facebook and on Twitter and even on Instagram. Please let us know on Facebook and on Twitter and even on Instagram. Department of Science and Technology. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Next time on TOMZ. We uncover the world of nanotechnology. We learn about how small is nano small. Excited yet? Then tune into TMZ every Monday and Tuesday at 4 p.m. Right here on SABC One. I'm Zanzi for sure.